I want you to tell me what you, let me back this up. I'm going to start with, what do you know already about the Civil War? It's about, um, uh, about uh, the different, uh, there's no difference between the best. You so said you're saying they were fighting over gold? Yeah. For money. Fighting over money. Or land. You said or what? Or land. Or land. Okay. Land. I, my, I, the idea came back. Okay. What's your idea? Uh, they were fighting over uh, the um, equal. Okay, so equality? Equality, yeah. Who else? They were fighting for human rights. Human rights? Yes. It was called the Civil War because it was um, in between America, like um, both sides were fighting in America. Okay, so it happened in America between two sides. Just short writing quick. What else? go through a few more, but we will be writing this down on the chart. Um, yes. Uh, during the time Abraham Lincoln was president. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, the two sides were South America and North America. South America and North America. Okay. The, there wasn't a lot of people inside the war. There wasn't. There weren't a lot of people. There was like twenty people. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, the flag was 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 different. It had different stars, not less. Okay. Yes. Uh, it was uh, the war was about slavery. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to read this point to you and see if this adds to what you already know about the Civil War, or gives you some more information. What you think, if you didn't know anything about it, what you think could have been happening with the Civil War. This point is called. Only a private was killed. It was written in 1861 <clears throat> by um, Captain Stone. He was in the, um, he wrote it on the 12th of November, so very close to today. 1861. That's not the two days from today. That's not the two days from today. Is it? Wow. 1861. How old would he have to have been if it was if it was 1861? And it says 2016. So that that tells you something right now about the war, doesn't it? What does it tell you? Which has been a long time. Ago. I can't hear everybody at one time. Ray, whoa, 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 whoa! Raise your hand. Uh, someone who hasn't talked about 200 years ago? Yeah, it happened about 200 years ago. Okay. We've had a fight, a captain said. Much rebel blood we've spilled. We put the saucy foe to flight. Our loss, but, only, but a private killed. Ah, yes, a sergeant on the spot as he drew a long deep breath. Poor fellow, he was badly shot then bayoneted to death. When again was hushed, the marshal din, and back the foe had fled. They brought the private's body in. I went to see the dead. For I could not think the rebel foe, though under curse and ban, too vaunted of their chivalry could kill a wounded man. A mini ball had broke his thigh, a frightful crushing wound. And then with savage bayonets, they had pinned him to the ground. One stab was through his abdomen, another through his head. The last one, the last through his, 
pulseless breast done after he was dead. His hair was matted with his gore, his hands were clenched with might, as though he still musket, as though his still his musket bore so firmly in the fight. He had grasped the poor men's bayonet, his blossom bosom to a defend. They raised the coat cake from his face. My God, it was my friend. Think what a shudder thrilled my heart. Twas but the day before. We laughed mer together merrily as we talked of days of yore. How happy we shall be, he said, when the war is over and when the rebels all subdued or dead, then we all go home again. Ah, little he dreamed, that soldier brave, so near his journey's goal, that God had sent a messenger to claim his Christian soul. But he fell like a hero fighting, and hearts with grief are filled. And honor is his, though our chief shall say, only a private kill. I knew him well, he was my friend, he loved our lands and laws and he fell a blessed martyr to the country's holy cause. Soldiers, our time will come most like when our blood will thus be spilled. And then of our chief shall say, only a private killed. But we fight our country's battles and our hopes are not forlorn. Our death shall be a blessing to millions yet unborn. To our children and their children and as each grave is filled, we will but ask our chief to say, only a private hill. So I want you to take a minute, think about it for a second, and I want you to turn to people at your table and maybe talk for just a couple of seconds about what you think you heard in this poem that tells you about the Civil War. Talk to each other. So this was only a private that was killed, right? Yeah. So they can still fight. Is that what you were saying? Yeah. Or you, okay. If leader dies, still fight. Or rather, not a leader. You're saying a private. They're still fighting. Yes. Um. Uh, the guy who wrote the poem, his best friend died. Okay, that's a good one. What else? Um, 
were people who were they people who died were they buried in a special place? Mm -hmm. There's this like wall that has um, it's the wall that next people think of. Yeah. What is called the scroll? Mm. I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's people that died in the wars. Uh huh. And, and, no, not since. No, and then it has like um, like a marble wall with names carved into it. Okay. Um. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What's the purpose of a civil war? Mm -hmm. What's the purpose of the Civil War? Who's writing these down for me? I am. How did it okay. start? No. How did it start? How did the Civil War start? Okay, what's your question? How long did it last for? How what? How long did it last for? How long did it last? Let's give her a minute to write these down. Uh, a what? Yes. Who was the leader of the South? Who was the leader of the South? Okay. How did it end? How did it end? Okay. Last two. How did it start? How did it start? Someone asked that, I think, already. No. Um, uh, who, who, um, uh, who won? Who won? These are great questions. All right. So I want everybody to make sure that you write down one or two of your own questions. And then you can work with the people at your table to answer the questions on, that are written down. Um, you can choose to answer, you choose three of the sites to go to to look at to answer these questions to see if you come up with your own responses. And then you can write your answers on the back. And um, you can work with each other to find the answer. Any questions so far? Yes. Can you what? What do you need the dictionary for? Dictionary is your definition. Well, yeah, if you want to look up definition for something, definitely. You want to use the computers? Yes, you're using computers because it's a web quest. So there's going to be websites that are written down for you to go to to look up um, the sites. And there's questions. So we probably won't finish this whole thing today, but we can get started. And then in okay. So in about a half an hour, no, in about 20 minutes, we'll come back together and find out what you have learned from the web quest. Questions? Um, do you want the sheet? Yes, well hold on, just hold on to it, okay? Make sure everybody is writing down two or three of their own questions. You can write it down on the back of the paper. Boys and girls, she's giving you the questions that you have to answer and the websites that you should go on. You can write on the back. And like I said, you can come up with one or two or three of your own questions um, individually or with your partner. Can we have one or two partners? No, you can have a partner, but you can work with a group. Does that make sense? Okay. So as a partner, you can have you can share two questions. Is it black? Well, if one is blocked, try another one.
Well, me and Yuzu uh, from the Civil War was slavery, and they were battling people when uh, they were fighting in the war. They were. Uh, they were battle names. Okay. And the capital of uh, the, the what is called the capital was Montgomery, Alabama. Oh, so the capital for the Confederacy? Yes. Yeah. Okay. For the Black Nation Confederacy. Oh, for the Black Confederacy, because you read about the Black Confederacy. Yeah, and also the um, that there were battle names. Okay. So why do you think it was important to know about the Black Confederacy? Um, uh, because the Black Confederacy was uh, you know, one of the reasons why they started the war. Mm, not quite. Anybody else have any ideas why you think the Black Confederacy might have been important to the Civil War? What makes it unique? Because, because, um, I forgot what I mm, Okay. To make, to make a, it doesn't matter what color, to make everything equal. Well, right. they were trying to make everything equal. Oh, no. Who is the Confederacy fighting for? Do you remember who the, what side the Confederacy was on? Yes. Oh. No. So. Yep. Did the South want slaves or did they not want slaves? They, they, they wanted. They wanted. Want. Hmm? They did not want slaves. They did. They did. He was fighting over. What did you think? He was fighting over the South because they want slaves. He didn't want them. Who's he? Robert, yes, Robert. Well, Robert E. Lee, who was Robert E. Lee again? He sold the South. Oh, so he was the South. He was the He was So the black Confederates were fighting for whom? For the South. They were fighting for slavery. Do you think that was in their best interest? No, no. Okay, so what are some other things that you found out? Yes. Abraham Lincoln was an American politician in the who was also the president in the state. Yep. Why is that important? Because he was he was uh, kind of he was like, 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 Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, Kansas was admitted as a state with a constitution prohibiting slavery. Okay. Why is that important? Uh, because most of this war is about slavery. Okay. One last one. I have two things to add. Okay, go ahead. Um, Jefferson Davis was a Confederate Confederacy is a um, president. Okay. And um, the first battle took a place in Fort Sumter, which is in California. Fort Sumter. It's not, it's not in California. <laughs> California wasn't even a part of the Union at the time. One more. We talked about the things that you knew prior to looking at this information about the Civil War. We talked about the things that you wanted to know about the Civil War. And we talked about the things that you have already learned. So you'll be ready to take on learning all of the intricacies of the Civil War. That's all. Thank you very much.